Hey, let me show you 20 tips to improve the battery drain issue on the Realme GT6. And first of all, we are going to start from the settings for sure, where we have to navigate into the Wi-Fi, then we have to go into the Wi-Fi assistant, and be sure that you actually switch off the dual channel network acceleration when you don't really need this feature right now. So if you are in the home and you are not downloading something, you are not playing games when you want to get like the best, the lower ping, just be sure that you turn it off. And it will look the same for the Wi-Fi and the mobile data. So what I mean, when you are in your home, you don't need to get Wi-Fi and the mobile data enabled, right? So you can, for example, turn off the Wi-Fi or turn off the mobile data. And it looks the same for the mobile data. So if you are outside, you are, for example, walking, you don't need to get the Wi-Fi to be turned on because you, are, you cannot be connected to the Wi-Fi while walking, right? You can be connected only to the mobile network. Next. Uh, be sure that you also turn off the Bluetooth when you are not using headphones because every of this function actually draining your battery. In the next step, we have to go into the connection and the sharing and we have to actually turn off this print. So go to the default print service, tap on the switcher to turn it off and it looks the same for the quick connection. So be sure that you turn it off if you don't, if you are not using this function. Right now, we are going into the home screen the home screen and the lock screen, and we have to turn off the wallpaper carousel. So this function actually connect us every time into the network and changing wallpaper every time we are locking the screen. So be sure that you actually turn off this feature. Next, we are heading into the display and the brightness, and we have to definitely enable the dark mode, but for this video, I'm gonna stay with the light because it, acts, it just looks a little bit better for you. Also, be sure that you are controlling your brightness level, so you don't need the extra brightness to be enabled all the time because the peak brightness is really high. As you can see right now, it's even over exposure mark camera. So be sure that you adjust the brightness level uh, manually just to save your battery. And it looks uh, the same actually with the bright HDR video mode. Be sure that you turn it off if you don't watching the videos. The same for the automatic screen off. If you often forgot to turn off your screen, and you got like 30 minutes or 10 minutes, it will actually drain a lot of your battery. So be sure that you switch this for 30 or even 15 seconds. Next, it will be recommended to lower the screen resolution from the high to the standard. So even here we get information about the longer battery life. Then go into the high refresh rate and be sure that you switch to the 60 frames per second. Now, when you go back from this uh, display, uh, we'll have to actually go into the notifications. So now, uh, if you are receiving a lot of notifications from any app that you are not really using, let's say that I receive a lot of notifications from, for example, from the messages, or maybe not, from the Google Meet. So I can simply turn them off uh, by clicking just right here. And next we are going into the apps and it's highly recommended to remove every application that you are not using on this smartphone. So you will have to go for the app management and now simply uninstall every app that you are not using. Like for example, I'm not using the Fitbit application so I can just get rid of it. And in the next step, we are heading for the location. I mean, first for the security and the privacy. Then we have to go for the more security and the privacy and we have to simply turn off the usage and diagnostics. There we go. Next, we are going for this location. Be sure to turn off the Wi-Fi scanning and the Bluetooth scanning. And also be sure that you turn off the location when you don't need this function to be turned on. Next, we are going for the battery and in the battery, we can also turn off the GT mode because it also power, I mean, it consume more power and be sure that you enable the power saving mode by clicking here or even the super power saving mode if your battery level is really low. And the last step will be by going into the Google, then opening um, all of these devices and the sharing and go for the devices and turn off NERBY devices scanning. And that's all for this video. Right now, please subscribe to my channel.